Hello, welcome to the Squirrel Tale. On this year's Christmas um, special, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to count down the top five Christmas gifts you can give to your muzzleloader enthusiasts and your family. To the other muzzleloader enthusiasts out there who are watching this, please comment below on what you think on this list. Do you agree, disagree? Is there something I should add or... Maybe I put too high on the list? Let me know. Without further ado, we're going to start with um, number five and work our way up. For number five, I put leather. Now, I think almost every muzzler enthusiast is to some degree a leather worker, to some degree. And it might be very crude or they might be a master one. But all of us... We can always use more leather. There's always a bag or something we want to make for our kit. You know, so that's number five on the list. For number four, I have books and magazines related to the hobby. I think most of us do enjoy these kinds of things. Um, you know, whether it's books on the time frame of the muzzleloader period Revolutionary War, French and Indian War. You know, we're pretty much all history buffs, so we all love books on history or how-to books related to the muzzleloader trades. And also getting a, um, a subscription to a magazines like Muzzle Blast or Muzzleloaders if they're already not getting those magazines or, you know, a membership to, like, the Horn Guild so they get the Horn Book. They would also enjoy them. You know, that's something that they would definitely enjoy getting. Is book, books and magazines for number four. For number three, I have targets. Now you have paper targets like this, which, you know, most muzzler shooters are going through pretty frequently. Especially ones like this one, which are, um, if they shoot any matches these are the standard sizes for the matches if you can get them that's great but any paper targets they enjoy that's good and also fun targets like steel gongs and some of these rolling targets if where they shoot allows them you know they make the sport pretty fun to shoot at stuff like that so they're definitely good gifts to consider you know targets that's that i think Everyone who shoots muzzlers and goes through targets and needs targets. So that is number three. For number two, I have cleaning solvents. Um, you know, Ballastol, that's a favorite among muzzlers, a lot of muzzler shoots, and like dust gun oils, even normal hoppies number nine, and different types of solvents and gun oils. Muzzle loaders take a lot of work to keep clean and keep maintained. And I know myself, I go through gun oil and ballastol and stuff like that pretty quickly. So even patches, most of them will appreciate getting some patches. So cleaning oil and gun oil is definitely something that they will appreciate. And for number one, I put fuel and shooting supplies to keep the guns fed. I, you know, if you're a serious muzzle or shooting shooter, especially with what went on recently, black powder is like pure gold. Same with percussion caps if you have a cap lock. And then flints. You know, you're always going through flint if you're a flint lock shooter. Um, and then, you know, muzzleloader balls, and if you cast, you know, good soft lead, that can be hard to find. So any of these things, and then patching, any of these things would be a great gift for the muzzler enthusiasts. You know, make sure, if you're going to do this, try to figure out what they use. Now, if you're like me, who has multiple muzzleloaders, I, should, I use just about everything. I have cap locks. I have flints. I use two and three F depending on the gun. You know, but if they only have one muzzler, that's something you might want to try to figure out, you know, what their preferred load is or whatever. 
you know, do they shoot 490 balls or do they shoot, you know, 495 round balls, stuff like that, you know, so I can tell you there's a lot of muzzler enthusiasts who, if you gave them an old septic pipe that was made out of pure lead, they would be very happy with that if you have one laying around, so... And, you know, gunpowder and caps are like pure gold right now to us in the muzzleloader community. So, I think by far, the stuff to keep them going is definitely number one on the list. So, powder, balls, percussion caps, and flints, and patching. So, this is my list, one through five, of what I think the top five best gifts for a muzzleloader shooter are. And I hope you enjoy this list if you don't mind hit that like and subscribe button and i want to hear in the comments what you think and i hope you all have a wonderful christmas season don't forget to remember the birth of christ on his day and god bless and have a good day